Hello dear customizators and today today I'm testing this water system for the electric solar boat and this is the pump and I'm just going to run this tube on the bottom of the boat and it should be enough to cool the motor and I just wanted to test uh, the pressure drop in this tube and will this pump be strong enough to pump and this is this is a cool little pump because it's brushless you see and it has this nice speed control as you can see this is the highest speed and this is the lowest so I can use as much as cooling as I need and I want. And I can test how high I can it go. So that's about. And that's the test, I would say, done. Well, first try didn't turn out so nice, so let's try again. Looking better. So what am I doing now is I have this uh, stainless steel tube that we need to bend into shape and this tube will go into the sea and it will cool the motor so the tube goes like this then it should enter this hole as you could already see we already bent this part with my tool that is not so good but we still did it so now we are going to bend this part, the second part, uh, we marked it with tape here and wish us good luck! <laughs> So we bent these tubes as far as we could on the field, these two bends, but this is this one we decided it, it would be too hard to, to do. So we just uh, put a piece of wire and uh, secured it with uh, tape and we will do it, uh, the final bend will be done at home in Zabrišić. So I'm back at the workshop and now I need, I can bend this marked piece around here
so I ran into a bit of trouble while bending this aluminium piece broke in the middle of bending and I think I probably need to make it out of steel okay I made the new piece now it's from steel let's try again nice and that's it these pieces are bent i'm quite satisfied and this is how it looks now i need to figure out a way how to fix it to the boat and that's what i'm going to do right now i made these pieces and i need to weld them right here And these are the parts welded in place. I also made these parts and they should go like this. So this part is screwed into this one and then this one goes to the boat. This part is going permanently to the boat so it's going to be glued and screwed with these two screws and then this will be removable. So now I need to make uh, an expansion tank for the water cooling for the boat and I made this uh, piece right here, I need to weld it up, it's a little bit bigger than this tube so I don't need to add any, any material, I'm just, just going to use this excess material while I'm welding. Cut the piece and just because I can I'm going to make it even flatter with the lathe. And I think that's about it. And now while it's here I can send it to look a bit nicer. And to flatten the edges I can just use this file and just go like this. And I want to chamfer the inner edge because uh, there's going to be a lid which I'm just going to press. should do it this piece is done now I just need to weld it and after welding this is how it looks I just couldn't help myself and I had to sand this down and I'm just testing it testing it with water to see if it there is a, or any leaks and it looks good And I made these two pieces for the water inlet and outlet. Should be going in. And it does. And now I need to weld them. Almost done here. So I made this lid. As you can see it's tapered a little bit so it grips nicely. And the only thing missing is something to fix it with. So this is how it will go. And I will add a chamfer here. And I will drill a hole through the middle because the weld is going to look nicely welded through the hole and not on the sides.
and that's this little expansion tank done. I hope you like the build. It has a nice lid, it has in and out, it has fixation points. And we also finished the piece that goes into the water that will be used to cool the motor. And that's everything that needed to be done in the workshop. Next stop, we go to the sea again and mount everything to the boat. I hope you liked the video and I hope you will subscribe because you need to subscribe. Yeah, we YouTubers need subscribers and also you need to like the video. Till next time, stay customized.